Today we are going to do short three from alcohols, phenols, and ethers. We already completed short one and short two, discussed many questions. So we are going to see a few more questions in today's session from the second chapter of organic. Prasanna here. Welcome to my platform, ChemSmart. Let's see what the questions are. Question number one. Out of tertiary butyl alcohol and N-butanol, which one will undergo acid catalyzed dehydration faster and why? It is asked in 2020. Let us see the nature of these two alcohols, which are given to you. Tertiary butyl alcohol, as the name indicates, it is tertiary alcohol. Right. N-butanol means it is a butan 1-all, normal butyl alcohol, butan 1-all, which is primary. And you have studied tertiary carbocation is the easiest to get formed, easiest to be formed during the reaction. So compared to primary and secondary. So this will form a tertiary carbocation during the reaction. Whereas this will form a primary carbocation. Which one is easier to be formed? Tertiary. So tertiary butyl alcohol will undergo easy reaction. Easy acid catalyzed dehydration compared to N-butanol, which is primary. So the answer is tertiary butyl alcohol. Reason? Stability of tertiary carbocation is more stable than that of primary carbocation. So easier to be formed compared to the other one. So it will undergo fast reaction. Clear? Right. Now, the next question. Major product formed in the following reaction. Again, see, use the concept of Williamson synthesis. This is uh, alkyl halide tertiary and the alkoxide use this primary. Notice it properly. Tertiary butyl bromide, the alkyl halide use this tertiary. Whereas this one is primary. You know, in Williamson synthesis, the alkyl halide used should be primary. If it is tertiary, you will not get ether. I have told you in the previous sessions, you will get an alkene. So you will, this is, you know, these are the options given to you. So what will happen? Being tertiary alkyl halide, it will undergo beta elimination. So HBr will get removed. So you'll be getting an alkene. The answer will be the last one. That is, this is the alkene. That is 2-methylprop 1 in or 2-methylprop in. That is the answer. Okay? Concept repeatedly asked. Next question. Which in the following reaction, the product form this. This is also an application, but the same reaction is there within your textbook. Okay? So, let's see what is the application here. You are using CS3, CH double bond, CH, CS2, OH. This is an enol. En and all are there. It's enol. We are using PCC, pyridinium chlorochromate, which is a mild oxidizing agent, right? So what is the advantage if we use PCC? If there is double bond, its integrity will be retained. It will not be broken. Understand? It will not get reduced. So what happens is, only the thing, this CS2OH part will change into, that is primary alcoholic group, that will change into CHO. If there is unsaturation, it will be retained. Nothing will happen to that. So what is the answer? CS3CS double bond CH will be retained and the primary alcoholic group is changing into CHO. So this is the answer. This is the advantage when we use PCC. Clear? Same reaction present in your textbook. You can see. Okay, now, so that's the application. Now, next one. Which of the following is optically inactive? Optically inactive means it should be a racemic mixture, right? So, plus butan, two all is dextrorotatory. It's just one enantiomer, next enantiomer. But this one contains plus minus or DL means it represents racemic mixture. It will be optically inactive. You have studied rotation due to one isomer will be cancelled by rotation due to the other because they are equal but in opposite direction. So the answer is uh, plus minus butan to all, which is a red semi mixture. Now, which of the following alcohol is resistant to oxidation? You know, 
the oxidation property of alcohol is primary more than secondary more than tertiary. Tertiary alcohol is the most difficult to get oxidized. So you just have to find out which is the tertiary alcohol. You know, this is just methanol. This primary, this secondary, this tertiary. So tertiary alcohol is difficult to be oxidized. So the answer is option A. Clear? Now, which of the following acids reacts with acetic and hydride to form compound aspirin C? This is a repeatedly asked concept in recent papers. So which one? Salicylic acid. See? Then, next one, which of the following group increases the acidic character of phenol? We have discussed if there is electron withdrawing group on phenol, it will increase the polarity of the OH bond. We have discussed in one of the previous sessions. Increase in the polarity and release of H plus becomes difficult. So you just check electron withdrawing group. This is electron releasing group, methoxy. Methyl group is electron releasing, but nitro group is electron withdrawing. It will increase the dissociation of phenol, producing more and more H plus. Clear? That's all for today from this session. And I would say that is the end of, you know, uh, time being discussion from the organic second chapter. Next session, we'll be moving on to organic third chapter, aldehydes, ketones, and carboxylic acids. Okay. Till then, keep watching the other sessions also, which I have uploaded. And make sure to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And see you inside for the next session. 